<clears throat> oh, so, so this is line of so they pick ranger for their hybrid. So for this line of what 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 you like what you you um you know what do you reference on this line up here? Um, damn, really hard to say. I mean, I, I, I think I'm favoring up S2 here. I think I, I think I honestly agree with you because they have a lot of comfort picks. The Wrath is super strong right now. Um, a lot of squishy heroes for the Granger as well. A Ghost whose lineup is not that tanky with the Bruno, the Bane, the Farsa. So it's not going to be too difficult for Granger to get kills. And again, Burn uh, got his favorite hero. And yeah, I, as best. you can see, like, yeah, like like the the uh, S2 alliance have a lot of CC. And I, yeah, I think like they have, I, I think their team five is gonna be much better than uh, Gosu. <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, both uh, jungler go and go mid. What, what do you think about like, it's better to go mid or stop buff? Like, I for... think it really depends on. Jungler you're on. Me personally, I like to start in wave every single time. Um, but if you're on someone like Ling, or if you have a Selena on your team, maybe that's when you would want to start your buffs first instead of your wave, you know? Oh, I see. Okay. So, wow. They a little for bit the, uh, fighting on. Uh, a lot of damage yeah. from the Mathilda. It's a, it's a very scary pick. Yeah, Mathilda. Oh my, yo, that damage from insane, yeah. Yeah, Matilda. Bruno's insane. gonna, our uh, Granger's gonna struggle here with in his jungle now. You can see the Matilda is still camping. Yeah, Mathilda I think and they the want to invade. Yeah, I think they're gonna look for, uh, you know, they engage, might. Uh, like, they're yeah. clearing out the small camp, and no, they're just playing it safe. That's respectable. Rap had to stay with the Granger there because yeah, he's still can... super low. Hasn't even taken a single buff while Bruno's already going on to the other side of his jungle. Yeah, on the side, like, Popo poking really hard again at Benedetta. Three so members of the Gosu bot lane, just where their jungler finished. So they're rotating back to mid. Gosu has complete control over the mid lane right now as Granger is still kind of behind his turret while the turtle is spawning. So, you can already see Zoltra as well, setting up for the turtle, getting vision, trying to poke somebody out with that Mathilda. Yeah, as you can see, um, Mathilda actually got a red buff, somehow. Oh yeah, I see that now. Yeah. I think I think that was a mistake. Red team trying to fight this. Bene, good rotation. Actually get the first blood onto the Raffaella. Yeah, we're very really, really, really. I think yeah, tried I think to get a kill onto the Bruno, but couldn't quite do it. Yeah, but we're, wow, we're the one HP, there. I just realized that. Yeah. Again, the yeah, Mathilda we... with all of her poke. Raph might... Yeah. It, it's good that they had Raph, because if they don't, they would have no healing, and that Mathilda, would, it would start to show a lot more. Yeah, I think Raphael pick is really nice for the uh, S2 uh, comm here. Because they can just sustain in lane so much mm -hmm. better. Yeah. But that Benedetta, man, went straight onto the Raffaella in that team fight. Then went straight after the Granger. He couldn't do anything. Yeah. So Gosu going for the Toro now. You have four members around here. They probably know that Granger is at his blue buff. See a little bit of trading between Zoltra and Burn. Farsa ulting trying to zone out. And actually the Popol ends up dying. It's going to be a free turtle. Yeah, because uh, I think Gosu know that Yuzon oh, earlier in early team fight, so Yuzon couldn't get any uh, team fight now. Nice from Kagura, but here comes the Esmeralda. Granger there for the follow up dragon coming in now. Being quite low, has to flicker out. Farsa ends up dying to the dragon. And yeah, I still think, dra honestly, dragon is quite a strong hero in my opinion. A lot of teams are kind of sleeping on him at the moment. Yeah, uh, especially Yuzong is really good against like Calm that doesn't have a lot of CC or mm -hmm. uh, is really squishy. But yeah, you, but the problem with Yuzong now is like he just, if he, he can pull out his, or done, like he do really well in his early game, his late game, mid game is really well. 
see four members of S2 on the bot side now. Easy escape for Zoltron, that Mathilda. Just dash away with the movement speed. Gold lead by about a thousand right now for Gosu. Not too crazy. Do you think this game might be going to late game? Oh, see a little I mean, engage it's... here. And wow, she had oh. no chance. Yeah, Such I think Go Gosu should be if, if Gosu uh, Gosu keep like snowballing, I think they would be able to end the game. But when it get to late game, I I think I'm in favor of S2. So S2 wins late game, you say? Yeah. I don't know. I, for, in my opinion, S2. The only thing that really does that good late game would be the Kagura, I guess. Uh, all of, all the other like heroes they, they don't scale problems, as like, well. They have a, a lot of CC, in my opinion. Ooh, Another nice Kaggle. Fun. Can't really get any kills. Dragon comes in, but he's not going to be able to do much. Trying to cut off the Bruno here, but is not able to. Here comes the Mathilda now. Just a strong, yeah. such a strong hero, Mathilda. Such a strong yeah. hero. I think uh, the the dragon went a little bit too deep there. Yeah, he should have backed yeah. off as yeah. uh, a little bit sooner. I think he's st he still had time to escape yeah. that. Yeah, S2 turning total right now. Uh, yeah, while well, just went straight to his jungle, yeah. is able to retribution that. Not a bad idea to go for that. And um, honestly, that's kind of well played. You know, they were down. 4v5 on the map and they still went for the turtle because they knew it was free. Yeah, I feel like they, most they, teams they would have yeah, saw the they death saw and they would have just left. Yeah, I think they saw the red buff was up on uh, on the Gosu team and they just went straight to turtle. Right. <clears throat> See Raph and the Granger rotating top. They don't even go for it. Such a tanky side laner, Bene. Four of Gosu members at bot side. They're going to be able to get that bot tower. The dragon cannot defend that. He just actually doesn't even have his ultimate up. Yeah, this is the, what happened to the dragon. Like, he cannot way clear that all the like silent like Ben. Uh, Do you think it's because of the ultimate cooldown? Yeah, the, because of yeah, and then he came and clear way that well compared mm -hmm. to other like. Zoltar so going in really deep on the Benedetta. We'll see if Granger can get the cleanup here. Not quite, but they're taking a lot of damage. Kag does go down, but traded for the Bane, and that's just going to be a simple one to one trade. I believe Granger did get his own blue buff. You can see his double buff plus the turtle. Not much action right there. Just went simple one to one. Yeah, I think it's very. I mean, it's really good for uh, S two because they're behind. They got one kill, one for one. Yeah, so I would actually. Really you know, what, that's a that's a really good point. Not only um are they behind, but yeah, he was able to get his buff too. Yeah. So any trade is a good trade at the moment. Uh, S two trying looking for the gold top turret. Yeah. Yeah, they almost lost that. See Granger here getting ulted by the Mathilda. Popa going on to General, not going to find a connection with the Granger ultimate. Kag ultimate as well, will not find a connection. Yeah, I think Seems the, like the teams are playing a little bit the passive Farsa. now. The Farce is doing a lot of damage, it's a big problem for uh, S2 right now. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying like if the Kag can get a pick on Farsa, I think mm -hmm. that's the really, really well. Yeah, she has Flame Shot team. as well, so she won't be able to have that Flicker or that Purify or anything. She CS2 again, the farce of damage. Dragon yeah, just goes straight to 50% HP as soon as he comes alive, decides to back off. And now Gosu is more set up around this turtle. This is yeah, not Gosu a good situation for S2 right now. Yeah. So they, they have Rafaela, so hopefully they can, uh, you know, can also stand. Granger all comes out. Gosu does get the turtle. Another trade, just one to one. But they also, but Gosu also did get the turtle in the mid tower, so it wasn't really a fair trade. Farsa again, just so much poke, they have to back off immediately. Yeah, very well played by uh by Gosu. Like all the rotation from the siling and engage from uh Matilda, very well played by Zoltra for sure. So, so what do you think uh S two should do to pull up this game? Um, it's definitely gonna be hard, man. It's hard to look for pokes, especially, you know, we were saying they, they have to find a poke on the Farsa, but with Mathilda there, it's just a free flicker. Maybe that's why the Farsa didn't even feel the need to bring a flicker or purify because you already have it with the Mathilda. It's gonna be really tough as long as Zoltra plays his part and plays a little bit passive. And I mean, if he's there while she's getting mm -hmm. Dovan, she's never gonna die. It's gonna be very difficult to get back in this yeah, game. Yeah. 
I mean, I think if the use on can pull up close, and the, but I think it's gonna be really hard though. The Matilda is just really annoying hero, like to get a pick on, because they can't just free flicker. Mhm. Mm that a 4k gold lead now. I would say Gosu wins late game as well, honestly, because the bane damage is gonna increase. Um, sure the Benedetta might get a bit weaker, but. Besides Bene, every hero is valuable. Late game. Yeah, I yeah, I think Farsa and then Ben, yeah, for sure. They're gonna be mm. really strong late game. So they go for blue buff. Blue going over Ooh. to Gosu. Bene trying to find some connection. They really just can't move up because of the Farsa. Yeah, yeah I feel like they, they were have so no scared pull. of Farsa's ult there. Yeah. And you can see why. I mean, look at that damage. One more hit and she was and up Raphael was gone. Yeah, like Gosu have a lot of poke here. Really far so. Zoltra going really deep there. But just so tanky as well. Actually ends up and killing the Farsa. Yeah, Again for a one-to-one -one trade. Trying to yeah. look for the Bane now, but Granger already spent his ultimate. He will not have that to clean up the team fight. I think S2 will try and go for lore, I think. Again, just a lot of one-to-one -one trades. No, I think they might be might have been looking for this Bruno here, actually. No, they're yeah. not going to be able to connect. Four members of S2 at top lane right now. Really want this top tower. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, that's no, actually looks like really good gonna back off. Right, uh, S2. Because they, they actually got one tower up there, so... Mm -hmm. They can stay, yeah. Trying to keep, uh, keep up the goal with the Gosu. Gold lead is still there though. Yeah, 5k go ahead up uh, S2. Would not be surprised if Gosu starts to lord anytime soon. I think they're waiting for a 12 minutes lore, I think. That's what they yeah, that's that's a good. For. That's a good observation. That might, they might be. Yeah. Oh, and I actually thought it before 12. Uh... Oh yeah, I see that. I would definitely say at this point, wait a little bit, but yeah. if they're comfortable with that, you can see, again, Zoltra going so deep, might actually have been overcommitted. He ends up falling. They end up dropping the Lord because of that. Yeah, Way too really, deep really for Zoltra. High. Dragon trying to chase down the Farsa, but it's not quite fast enough. Bane bursting him down, but all that regen. And they actually end up getting the kill onto the Bruno. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Benedetta is playing really well in this team fight. He actually carries mm -hmm. his whole team here. He and again, just more <laughs> trades. Just more trades keep coming through. And honestly, I would say it's it's tough to say who who the trade is better for. Because yeah, S2 is behind. But also, as the game goes later, Gosu has a higher chance of winning because of all their late game damage. Yeah, but so it I, really think, is tough uh, I think to S2, what are they trying to do? They try and get a pick. They get visions from the uh, the uh, the Popo, and then they try and get a pick of uh, the enemy, and then you know try and snowball and try to get the lore. <laughs> but that's the only way they can win this game, in my opinion. I would say they have to find another pick on Bruno and Far. So those two are just melting. And that, again, that was be the fight did start because Zoltra just overcommitted a little bit. Um, we'll have to see if he makes a mistake like that again, and uh, I don't know if S2 is gonna have another chance if he doesn't. And you can see Gosu is dying low already. It's yeah, like... it's very low, and it's actually going to go down here. Four, four Gosu Dragon going in gets gets Farce at about half HP. Then it really low as well. Dragon in the front line is not going to survive. You can see trying to flicker in on the Bruno. It's not going to work. A one for two trade. Just a lot of kill trading here. It's is yeah. pretty much what this whole match has been, just trading kills. One after the other. You can see Granger getting chased here by the Mathilda a little bit too fast because of the brute force. Not going to be able to make any connections. But what do you think? They, I don't. Uh, in my opinion, like they can't like the uh, for S two, they don't have any like uh, way clear heroes on their team, so it's yeah, going to be really right. hard for them to defend this lore. You're right. So I don't know how they go pull up this. Um, what do you think? What they should do to pull up this? Um, I, it's gonna be really hard. I, I don't see 
they're gonna lose a few high grounds here for sure. Unless Gosu just doesn't really push. So I don't know how they gonna pull up this um what do you think what they should do to pull up this? Um I, it's gonna be really hard. I, I don't see they're gonna lose a few high grounds here for sure. Unless Gosu just doesn't really push that hard. I mean they have the Bane ultimate as well. Mathilda can just zone everybody. We'll see what happens to S2's high grounds here. Yeah, uh, as you can see they clear the lore already. Parts of Damage, insane parts of damage. Both side lanes getting pushed. S2 chooses to defend top. And you can really see the CAG damage starting to come online. Like we said, that's um, probably S2's greatest late game hero, and you can really start to see the damage coming out. Yeah, actually, this really great like defending by S2. I didn't yeah, they, I'm they surprised. Didn't any. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I don't understand how they didn't lose a high ground, really, with all the late game. Yeah, I, I think I maybe Ghost like was just playing a little bit passive there, not trying to overcommit to anything. Yeah, they just trying to be really passive. They don't try to not throw the game, I guess. Mm-hmm. So both teams just kind of reset, go back to their sides. You can see Ghost who just completely went back to their own enemy side right now. Yeah, they're just trying to freeze the Finally waves. Finally going like across. Oh. Yeah, good point. Yeah, Soldier they just push checking with that Mathilda versus five people, and he still can easily walk up. Again, the CAG damage sent that Bane to 70% HP with one hit. It wasn't even her ultimate. And she just got Holy Crystal now. So her damage is going to be even higher in a little bit. Yeah, so uh, I just think Gosu just waiting for the next lower. And just freezing the wave. Don't let them take any buff. I think that's, that's what they're trying to do right now. <laughs> So yeah, it's like super quiet. Everyone just yeah, really. Zoltra just oh. in individually. Wow, good Farsa stun. You can see Dragon trying to go in on this opportunity here, but doesn't quite get the Farsa. And now the Dragon's in a horrible spot. Actually ends up surviving. Wow, wow that's very no that's, that's that really died. big. Nobody died, even though the Dragon wow. end end the far and excuse me, Mathilda were extremely low. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Very close team fight by both teams. But at the end of the day, they did lose their bottom high ground tower. Yeah. So that is going to uh, start pushing a bit harder than usual minion waves. Other than that, though, they're doing a good job of defending. Yeah. Uh, you can see the parts of Poe is going to be really hard for mm -hmm. S2 to defend here. Popal hasn't really been able to do much this game. I feel like that's because of the Farsa pick, really. He just yeah, gets outranged. Whenever, whenever the Popal tries to move up, it's always the Farsa ulting on top of him. He can't really secure a good stun and set up his dragon and the rest of his team. Yeah, but I think the problem with Gosu is like they, they have really slow engage. Like you can see, like the only engage they will have is either Benedetta or Matilda to start mm -hmm. a team fight. But it's going to be really hard because they don't know like have hard CC. So it's going to be really hard for them to engage. So all they now right, they just depend on the uh, the uh, Farsa to poke and then uh, start off the Farsa. If you can see, it looks like they do not want to give this Lord up. I would kind of agree. If I, I feel like if Gosu gets this Lord, it's the end. You can see Popal on the side actually managing to stun Bruno here, and that is Bruno down, as well as Granger. Both junglers just fell in that team fight. Kag barely escaping. Very well played by the Kagura trying to escape that. Zoltra's damage has definitely lowered. You can see he does not do nearly as much damage as he did level 1. And wow, just traded junglers. Again, trade after trade after trade here. Yeah, I mean, very really well played by S2. If they didn't go for that lore, they would have lost this game. I, I, I totally agree, totally agree. I think they yeah. realized that too, and really, um, they had to put everything they, they have on that. Yeah, so I think at this goal, I think everyone should have their full items now, so... But I think, yeah, I think as you can say that um, the Ghost will have, will have a better chance to win late game for sure. Uh huh, totally.
just the, the damage really isn't there anymore from S2, besides the Kagura. They do have a lot of crowd control between, you know, the Raffaella, the Popol and Koopa, but Kag is the one, the only one who can really capitalize on that crowd control and actually get kills. Granger now is not going to be doing much damage at all. Uh, Dragon did ult there. Very odd Dragon ult. Actually ends up getting a kill on the Bane. Wow. Actually, very Wow, also going for the Bruno here. A little bit of lag. Double kill. This might be the turning point in this match. I'm lagging yeah, so bad. Five yeah, to two like... right now. They're trying to go for more. Five for three. Zoltra falls. And you can see the Farza just kind of trying to clean up here. Almost gets a kill on the Kagura as well. So a three for one trade. And honestly, I would say this is the point where uh, S2 does Lord, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, they're silent pushing though. Top and bot pushing. So... Uh, yeah, I think so. I think like right now it's the farce. I try to contest it, but I don't think she can do anything because uh, the ranger have uh, retreat. You can see both of them are so low though. I feel like the farce ultimate damage could even out damage this granger right here. Look at how low they are. Just one farce ult is all it will take to kill them at this point, and farce oh actually gets God, the lord. Wow, lord. farce actually takes that lord, not even with her ultimate. Wow. wow! You know what I feel happened? Like the, the Ranger knock off by the uh, the Lord. I feel like so. the Wrath should have stayed with the Granger and the Yuzong there. Another yeah. kill on. I don't understand why the Wrath did not stay with him. She could have healed them up a little bit more. She secured that. That was a poor yeah. choice by the Wrath. She was trying to zone, and I understand that, but no, they couldn't do the Lord because they were so low. They needed her to heal. Yeah, so and that's why could, they back out of it. And this might yeah. be the end of the match because of that. But the problem with Stoner is still dead, though. So it's like four versus four. Right, so. but they still do have their marksmen. And the dragon is dead, and as we were talking about, like... Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like their only engage, really. Lord's still full HP. And they did change Lord, so now it's actually a more defensive Lord. You can see it just charging straight to that high ground. Mid high ground, gone. Dragon's up in 15. Kag just got two shot. Yeah, Granger's trying to do the best he can, but he does here. no damage yet. Yeah, wow. Right. That Lord decided wow. the game. I think whoever got that Lord uh, was going to win the game. Yeah, yeah. very nice play by Farsa. She's, you know, she stayed slow and then trying to steal the Lord. Yeah, very well played by Farsa. If she didn't steal the Lord, I think S2 going to have a really, you know, big...